Okay, welcome to today's video everyone. Find all solutions of e to the z equal 1 for z being a complex number. Okay, so if z's a complex number, then we can say let z equal x plus i y. Okay, and now we can go ahead and solve this. So let's just write it e to the z equals 1. Then we can say that e to the x plus i y is equal to 1. We can break this up using our index laws and it becomes e to the x multiplied by e to the i y equals 1. And now we can apply Euler's formula, which says that e to the i y equals cos of y plus i sine y. We can apply that here, and this can be abbreviated to cis y, just for abbreviation purposes. So let's do that. e to the x times cis y equals 1. Okay, so... We have this in modulus multiplied by the argument. So this is mod arg form here. So let's write 1 in mod arg form. What's 1 in modulus argument form? Well, let's have a look. On the argand diagram, or the complex plane, we have our complex number 1 here. Now, clearly the argument is 0. But that's not the only way of writing 1. We can also go around 2 pi. And that would still give us 1. We can go around another 2 pi. That would also give us 1. And as you can see, we can keep going around as many times as we like. As long as we go around in integer multiples of 2 pi, we're going to get back to 1. So really, this is cis, or 1 times cis, of 0 plus 2k pi. Right? Where k is some integer. Okay, so this just says we can go around as many times as we like, but as long as we get back here, we still have the same number. Okay, so what does that mean? We can now equate the moduli and the arguments of these two complex numbers. So e to the x is equal to 1, and we have cis y is equal to 0 plus 2k pi for integral Okay, now this we can solve quite easily by taking the natural log of both sides, and we're going to get that x is equal to 0, and here, oh, this should be just y, not cis, so in here we're going to have y is simply equal to 2k pi, where k is an integer, and so we can say, therefore, these solutions... of e to the z equal to 1 are, now it's a set, and the set is the set of numbers 2k pi i. So this is in the form of 0 plus i y, or x plus i y, where x is 0 and y is 2k pi. So we have our y part and multiplied by i, because it's z equals x plus i y. So it's 2k pi i where, so this line here means such that, so such that k is an integer. Okay, and that's the final answer. Thanks for watching.